So, a few days ago, I made a video saying that I'm going to be trying to make a comeback to YouTube and uh, I'm going to attempt to start making videos again and stuff and get back into a routine. And I asked what video people would want me to start off on, uh, what would be the first video. And it seems like most people wanted me to play the mod called Feed the Beast. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now, I have kind of messed around with this before. Um, but I haven't really understood anything in it. From what I can tell, it's very much like Tech It um, and a Technic pack uh, in some respects. So hopefully, I can get used to it pretty easily. Um, so obviously, with all Minecraft things, you have to start out doing the boring stuff, which is collecting trees and all that type of stuff, so that's what we're going to do now. Um, now I have seen a... that tree over there with a big like pointy thing on the top of it. I think that's a tree that you can get rubber or something from, a rubber tree, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but um, I'm going to get one of them. Because from what I can remember from Tech It, you kind of need rubber for wires and stuff. But anyway, um, like I was saying, that I'm gonna I'm gonna start making a come back to the whole YouTube thing now, um, or at least I'm gonna attempt to. Um, I'm not gonna go straight back to what I used to do, where it was a video every two days, at least not straight away. I'm going to slowly get back into it. Let's make a workbench. Um, so I'll probably do like two or three videos a week, straight away, and then uh, eventually start getting into more videos and stuff but we'll see how it goes uh, let's just put this down um, I want to make an axe and a pickaxe now I want to make a tree tap I can't remember how you do them tree tap there we go so it's basically wood like that There we go, the tree tap, and that will be used to get the. I can't remember what it's called, but you get some out of the tree, and then that can be turned to rubber eventually. If you can find, if I can find out what the uh, machine was called, I forgot. I think it was a macerator or something, was it? There we go. And what is that called? Sticky resin, okay, so that's the stuff that you make into rubber. And then I'm going to chop this down. Actually, there's some, some more there. I'm going to chop this down, hopefully, I'll get a sapling from it. And then we can grow some of these ourselves. Which will be a lot easier than going to find some. Oop, wrong thing. There we go. Hopefully we get a sapling from this thing. There we go. Well, I suppose that'll do for now. Um, now I don't know what I want to do for a base or anything. I'm not too sure yet. See, I normally go underground. As most people know, at least, I normally go underground and do bases. Um, because I'm, I'm a very underground person. I like digging and stuff. But I kind of feel like I want to do some sort of factory above ground. Well, that, that's going to be kind of like an end goal. But a, a big factory above ground, I think, would be pretty interesting. But it's just figuring out how to... How to get all the stuff to work in order to make a full functioning um, factory. So there's a there's a jungle biome over here, but I don't think I want to be building in a jungle biome, um, especially not with this mod. Because obviously there's going to be like a lot of pipe work and stuff with this mod, or this mod pack at least. So 
it's going to be kind of awkward building inside of a jungle. Um, I suppose we could go and take a look at the snow biome, maybe. That I saw just over here. Ooh, some new ore. What's this? Can't take it. Let's get some stone then. So yeah, there's a lot of new, a lot of new ore. Obviously, there's new trees. Um, I think the the mud called the Twilight Forest is in this, which is like a whole new area to explore, which I'm excited about. I don't think there's any more mobs uh, in the main world, at least. I don't know. I know that Mo Creatures isn't with this mod. Um, so I'm not sure about that. But let's see what this is. And it is called Copper Ore. What can that be used for? It can be Copper Ingot, and then it can be made into a Copper Chest for some reason. Copper to silver chest upgrade. What's a copper chest? I don't know what these are used for. I suppose it's just they can hold more things. I'm presuming this is the the crystal chest is the thing that can hold pretty much everything. Probably I've got a huge amount of space. Um, that's pretty cool. I can hear lava. Ooh, this is a beehive, I think. I don't know if I want to mess around in that, though, because... Um, what the hell is that? Is that the cow noise? That's weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to mess around with the beehives yet, because I think you have to have suits and stuff for them. Well, I think if this cave is good enough, we can just make it as a temporary base. Like I said, I don't know if I want to live underground um, this time. I think I want to live above ground, but I can have like a semi-temporary base that's just in some sort of cave right now. Just so we don't get murdered at night time. Mm. But it doesn't look like this cave goes anywhere. I can't get any of that. Make a shovel so I don't have to keep messing around. There we go. Oh, I have a new keyboard by the way, so you might be able to hear it a bit more than usual. Um, this one's a mechanical one. I finally took the uh, took the plunge and brought a mechanical keyboard. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, this looks kind of this looks kind of scary. But yeah, it's a mechanical keyboard. Um, it's a very expensive one. Cost just over a hundred pound, um, and I can't see a thing. I'm gonna grab some. I think this is coal. Let me just grab this. Make some torches so I can see things. But yeah, um, the keyboard that I got is the Corsair Vengeance K90 mechanical keyboard. It's pretty awesome. It comes with um comes with macro keys and there's 18 of them and then you've got three different like presets so there's like 50 I don't know I'm rubbish at that's 54 or 58 of them 50 something right this is a this is an okay cave I might just actually block this off for now just so nothing can come through and kill me Oh yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool keyboard. Um, it's very weird to get used to because mechanical is obviously more sensitive when you're typing and stuff. So I have to be a little bit more careful when pressing buttons. Right, so this is an okay place to lay low for the night. Okay, so it should be. Yes, it is daytime now. Um, let's carry on looking around. I am starting to get relatively hungry though so let's kill a sheep I mean not sheep a cow and get its food 
There we go. And there's the jungle. Right, there's another beehive there. Where was the snow biome? Oh, oh, what have I done? Yeah, with this uh, mini map in the top left, top right, sorry, you can create. Oh my god, you can create waypoints and stuff. Which makes it easier to obviously find different locations and everything. Oh, is this like a plants biome over here? Probably gonna get food poisoning. There we go. So yeah, you can you can kind of um find locations and everything with the the little mini map on the top, and you can set locations where cool things are and everything. So I'm looking forward to using some of the things in this mod pack. Oh, I forgot to mention there's also this thing. Um, you probably saw me mess around with it earlier, obviously when I was typing stuff. But it's just basically a recipe thing. I don't think you can cheat with this. Um, doesn't seem like you can. There's probably a way you can give yourself items, but I don't plan on doing that. So I don't, I'm not really bothered, and I don't really want to find it. So yeah. Oh, this is just like a dead, dead end. But there is this snow biome here, which I kind of want to be near to. Um, I don't want to be too far away from it. But I think what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to go and find a place, a, a kind of good place to set up, and then I'll. Uh, Ooh, I'll kill this pig actually get some more food yeah I'll find a good place to set up and then I'll come back instead of making you watch me just walk around <laughs> for a while thank you Mr Pig right so I've done a quite a lot of exploring um, and I've come across this cool area here so there's this huge ravine type thing here with quite a lot of different ores and a few lighting glitches in the bottom which I'm presuming I could utilise quite well I think um, if I build like a warehouse over it if you know what I mean so like big like a big factory complex right here and then there could be an underground secret part which is in the ravine which I think would be pretty cool and um, there's also quite a lot of different holes in the ground which lead to caves and stuff. Um, I came from this way. Over here, and also it com comes around here as well, is a snow biome, which is awesome. But this is like a proper snow biome. I'm presuming this is something to do with the mod. Or one of the mods that are in the, uh, in the pack. It's like there's layers of snow. Instead of it just being like a really thin layer of snow covering all there's actually there's there is the thin layer this thin layer here but then there's actually blocks of snow if you know what i mean and that goes down to rock which i think is pretty awesome um i'm hoping that it does actually snow in this area because if it does i could use this pretty well i think um for ice and different things like that and there's also a pretty big um desert biome just there which I'll be able to collect sand and make sandstone from there's also a bit of a swamp biome I think over here swamp biomes seem to be a little bit different with this mod um, the trees seem to be very bright and the, uh, the the water is really dim oh there's a quicksand I think these quicksand pits I'm not going to jump in it because <laughs> obviously I might die oops but he has quicksand pits and very slow loading junks. But yeah, it seems pretty awesome. Ooh, what's this? It's a nice uh, underground cave thingy. See, I'm getting urges to build underground again, but I really don't want to. I'm obviously going to build underground a bit. Like, there'll be some sort of 
mini base like a home part underground but the main factory part where everything is going on is going to be pretty much above ground just over here somewhere which I think will work pretty well oh but yeah we can make it like a proper complex surrounded by like a, a fence or a gate like a huge wall or something um, and then there'll be a big factory building in the center of it with machines, sorting machines for chests I know that you can do that in tech it. I don't know if that sort of stuff is in this mod, you'll have to let me know. You know, like the whole pipes and you can automatically sort things into different chests with items. Actually I've got the you can actually take a look, can't you? Um let's see. Pipes, see that there's all the pumps, so I'm presuming that's the same mod. Um Hmm. Ah, pipes. Yes, yeah, so I'm presuming this is a. Uh, this is what I mean. You can transport things, and there was some different pipes, different coloured pipes, where you can. It goes into the pipe, and then you can set it so different items will go different directions. I don't know if that's in here as well. I don't know. It might be in there somewhere. If you know, just let me know. You know the. Uh, it's got the. In in tech or technique, they had the sorting pipe where. It had like three different ways it could go and then different colours and you could set each colour to have a different item so when that item went in there that colour would take that item and it would take it to a different transport pipe um, and stuff like that so yeah but anyway it's getting dark here so I'm going to have to actually real quick we can set a waypoint um, we'll call it warehouse oh god because it might be the warehouse let's make it um, let's make it blue there we go so that will always be there so if I get lost I know where to go to find this cool area um, but for now we're going to go down here What is that noise? Oh, it's a cow. For now we're going to go down here and just uh, camp out, start thinking about what I want to do. And stuff like that. And it sounds like there's some bad dudes down here. Now would probably be the good time to make a sword, even though it's only wooden. Let's do a little bit of lighting up over here, I saw a creeper then. Come on, where are you? That was a skeleton. And a zombie. And there's a spider. So yeah, I'm very excited about what I'm going to try doing with this mod pack. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's not too hard to learn all the necessary things, and uh, hopefully I can get it started. Ooh! Oh my Christ! Jesus! <laughs> As you can tell, I haven't played Minecraft for a pretty long time, so I'm a bit rusty. Let's put a waypoint here. Um, let's call it Shaft. Let's leave it orange. Just so we know that that's there. We can come back to that another time. Awesome. But I think I'm going to leave this here, just for now. Um, I know this wasn't really anything important, just more exploring and finding a good place to set up. But next time I am going to start setting up all the necessary things and starting to taking a look at what things we can make 
with the with the materials that we've already actually got. Um, and obviously by next time I'll have a bit more because I'm going to do some collecting of these materials that are in this cave. What the hell is this? Can't even pick it up. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about playing with this mod. Hopefully I don't make a fool of myself <laughs> because I don't really know what I'm doing. But yeah. If you've got any ideas of what I could do with the whole warehouse thing up above, um, keeping it in this area then, let me know. But other than that, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.